hello guys welcome to see learning with new video in this video we will learn about the dhcp how to configure dhcp on router and what are the dhcp there are three types of dhcp which we can configure on router that one is the dhcp select interface where we go inside the interface and configure some parameter and second one is dhcp select global where we create a global pool outside first and then come in uh, the interface and then give the uh, command to select the uh, pool and third one is the relay so in uh, in this video we will learn about dhcp select interface and in our next video we will learn about dhcp select global and uh, let's see in this video let's how to configure dhcp select interface so we have this topology and first of all we will name the dhcp server i have give the name router as dhcp server second is enable the dhcp and give the uh, this gateway address to this interface so we will give this gateway address to this interface we will go in system view and uh, enable dhcp enable this is command to enable dhcp now we will go to interface g0/0/0 and give the ip address is ip address is yes 192 wait 192 oh sorry 10.10.10.1 and 24 and now we configure this and now we will select that interface test THCP select interface this command to select the DCP select interface now we are in DCP select interface now we will configure some parameters to configure some parameters first of them will is to provide DNS second one is the lease period of three day lease period is where you take IP and you can use the same IP for the three days after that you have to return the IP and renew the IP uh, new one IP and this is command to exclude that we are using uh, some pool of IP address so this accept this IP address all other IP address you can use in this pool and the next command is to capture data so we will configure this command on DHCP router so we will go to router we are here so command is DHCP server now you if you question mark all these command will display here first of all we will uh, configure DNS list DNS list is 9.9.9.9 and least period of 3 day DHCP DHCP server least period day 3 day 3 we configure this day 3 and now our next command is to exclude the IP address now to exclude IP address we have command uh, uh, DHCP server exclude exclude IP address you can also select the range of IP address or you can uh, configure just one IP address like 10.10.10.2 so this I configure now we will capture the data data at G1 this is the G11 or here we capture data yes G11 we will capture data the Wireshark will automatically open and uh, next is we will go to PCs and enable DHCP how to enable DHCP here is to enable DHCP apply and go to command prompt here you type IP config to watch what is the address DHCP given to this PC so this PC have 10.10.254 10 uh, given by DHCP server which we configure on router so now Wireshark is opened now if we ping ping if we ping gateway this gateway so data will go through this and come back to this so this interface will capture data so we will ping 10.10.10.10.1 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 .10 so 
so uh, destination unreachable we will pick again I think we didn't configure here 10.10.10.1 yes we configured and here here is IP address is 10.10.254.10.10.1 so we'll ping again first of all we ping own PC 254 so it will broadcast and uh, enter some entries in his IP uh, in uh, Mac table so it's pinging so it's happened sometimes to ping two or three times first of all the best practice is ping own IP so P PC will prepare himself to ping other PCs so uh, I ping now ping again and go to Wireshark now we are in Wireshark so you can see these are the data capture are by Wireshark these are five packet first packet request reply request reply request reply and this how five packet and these other five packets we first ping and uh, this is the R broadcast and ARP reply which I tell in my video of Wireshark go and watch how to use Wireshark uh, that's how DHCP select interface work so our next target is just assign PC examine package okay, yes we did we test the connectivity so we will test the connectivity between two PCs so now we will go in this interface see IP config IP config so DHCP didn't give the IP address to this interface so it's not reachable because uh, we didn't select DHCP here so DHCP apply so now we will get the IP IP config so DHCP give this IP to this so now we will ping here the neighbor PC ping 110.10.10.254 which is the address of PC1 so now it will ping 253 and this is 254 now we'll ping again so it's not pinging we will first ping its own so it's pinging now we'll ping in the other address 254 yes it's reachable the two pieces are reachable from each other so that's how DCP works so that's all for today's video see you in next video with DCP select global interface how to create a pool in that interface so see you thank you very much